Bro, in the whole 9 months or so I've been doing YouTube, I've never been more cooked for not knowing about a feature. Like bro, back on the M1 system combo tutorial, I got so cooked for so many different reasons that it's not even funny. Some people even started hating, but I mean, you already know, it is what it is. Anyways, whenever you're using animations in Roblox Studio, whenever you use an animation for the first time, you might realize that the duration of the animation is non-existent, so like, it's zero, which is bad because if you want your scripts to wait till the animation is over and you use the dot length property of the animation for that then it won't even wait anything the solution for this is incredibly simple but it's something that's very easy to miss or forget in my case i think i never really learned about this i ain't even gonna lie i didn't even know that this was a thing until very recently y'all can say that i'm a fraud or whatever i really don't care just don't let me catch you though just kidding fam probably but yeah if you want to fix the issue i mentioned earlier you have to learn Alright, so as I said, preloading your animations is very easy. For this, we'll be using the content provider service. Don't worry, I won't have you read all that. I know you got goldfish level attention span, I got you. The only thing you gotta really read from this is this line. With content provider, developers can preload assets using the content provider column get async. This essentially means that you can preload information into the client. This is specifically useful for animations. When you use preload async with animations, you'll solve the animation problem of it not having any length. How do you do this, you might be asking? easy first of all you want to get where your animations are stored for this case it'll be this folder called animations in replicated storage or whatever you have your animations then you get the content provider service and after this you're gonna loop through the folder and inside this you're gonna do content provider column preload async inside the parentheses you're gonna open and close key brackets or whatever these type of brackets are called i think they're called braces or something and inside the braces you put the current instance that the loop is on so you put v inside there and that's it that's gonna preload your animations but wait we're not done yet there's something you need to take into account preloading stuff takes time so before the loop we're gonna put a print saying started loading and in the end another print that says finish loading so essentially whenever we see this print that's when we'll know that we won't get the animation problem that we were trying to solve sometimes you might want to use this so that the players don't move or perform any actions until everything's fully loaded but that can be a separate video on its own and i won't really show you how to do that in this video now if we go ahead and test this and we wait until until we get the finished loading print if we perform our m1 animations it works perfectly and it waits until the animation ends before performing the next one if you watch my m1 system video you'll remember that the first time we performed the m1 combo it didn't really work perfectly but now we're good we're straight also real quick before we end i want to say that we got a discord server so if you're interested in that first link in the description this said keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace